Hello everybody. So I am here with Michael and we are going to eat more chili peppers <laughs> that were kindly sent to us uh, from Matt. So Matt, thank you. Thanks Matt. Uh, and today we're going to talk about this little guy here which is called the Numex Easter and also this one right here, which is uh, the Blue Ghost. So I'm excited for that one because it looks amazing. It looks really cool. I don't know if this is a, a, actually like a ghost pepper. I think it actually might be. When ghost peppers are one of the world's hottest peppers. So, it, get ready for that one. <laughs> uh, this one I don't think is going to be super hot. This one I believe is actually an ornamental uh, chili pepper. So, because Numexes are usually uh, ornamental, I think. But uh, you can't eat them, just people usually don't. And I can say right now, just some, from holding these peppers, my hand is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I touched some of them earlier, and I numbness yeah, in the fingertips. Kind of <laughs> tingling my fingertips. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Cut this one. We're eating the, the New Mix Easter. You can see why this is ornamental. It tastes like corn. Corn? Yeah, like uh, sweet corn. Something, but not sweet, particularly. Yeah, a little bit. It's like vegetable ish. I feel like I'm eating like some hay, like some straw or something. Yeah, but there's no heat to it. I'm getting a little. Little tingle of heat, but low, like compared to like a jalapeno. If a jalapeno is a two out of ten, this is like a one, maybe less than a one, a half. A yeah. little tingle. I mean, I, I'm not really tasting any heat at all. So yeah. it's, it's getting me in the nose a little. <coughs> Yeah, it is. I can see why it's ornamental. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really taste like much, uh, but whatever. I guess like if you have them growing and you wanted to eat them, then I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and the blue ghost. It's the one I'm most excited about because it looks like the green goblin. <laughs> it does. It definitely, it looks very Halloween-y. Yeah. Like purple and green. Let's move on to the ghost. Excited. You do it first. All right. <laughs> now this is the blue ghost, which according to like what I'm finding online, it is uh, a cross between several different varieties, but there it is ghost pepper. It's got, it's a different, it's a special variety of ghost pepper. Go for it, man. Are you hit suddenly by heat? No. No. This okay. isn't like the, um, there. Oh god, he's dying. Uh, this isn't like the habanero, the cappuccino habanero we had in the last episode, which hit me immediately, but I can feel a slow build. But there's not, it's not amounting to anything much yet. We might have had too small of a piece of it. Give it a second. This <clears throat> is very bitter. Yeah. It doesn't have the ghost pepper f flavor that I'm more fam familiar with. Because you've had it in uh, like a hot sauce, you said, right? I've had it, I've had ghost peppers in in various things. I've had ghost pepper salts and ghost pepper hot sauces, and there's like a very savory flavor to it. That <coughs> are you feeling the heat yet? Or uh, maybe? yeah, but it's like a weird. It's not bad. It's not like yeah. a, a huge kind of heat. I'm getting like a, a nice, like a pleasant sort of uh, tingle, I guess, mm -hmm. but not really. Um, it's not also. It's not like it's not noticeable. But yeah, it's a comfortable heat. Yeah, um, it's like kind of like dull. It's heat. It, 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 it's. I like. This is a a, a nice sort of. Uh, 
You okay? <laughs> oh, I'm alright. <laughs> it's, it's odd because it comes like in like a little wave of like heat in like the back of my throat. But it's not like the same heat that we had from like a habanero. But I do feel like it's like getting at my throat again. Do you need uh, the beer that we're using as a fire extinguisher? Or? Oh, we should probably <laughs> introduce that beer. I actually do not uh, need it right now. <clears throat> but we are drinking um, Laziza raspberry non-alcoholic malt beverage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're really good <laughs> as a fire extinguisher. I think we're gonna, I'm going to save that for the next episode because I don't need it. Okay. I don't need um, it. I'm gonna have a have more of this. Uh, oh, maybe I should open it then. <laughs> I, no, I, um, Are you gonna eat the whole thing? I, I mean, that's what the show is about. <laughs> uh, suit yourself, man. Go for it. Um, I mean, I think I can handle. I mean, this is a famous loss. Was I want that on my tombstone if it kills me? But I think I can handle. Do it, it man. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Um. Wish I had some popcorn, but all I have is a bowl full of chili peppers. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, it's just more of the same, really. Uh, this is tea, by the way, which is not going to help the heat in my mouth at all. So you're not getting um, that much heat. I mean, it's, again, the same sort of pleasant level of heat. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, since you just had a big chunk of it, uh, describe the flavor of it. I keep using the same uh, words to describe it, kind of sour, kind of bitter, kind of um, Yeah. I was just getting bitterness. No sweetness to it whatsoever. No. Not a lot of flavor besides just like, for me it's just like, wow, that's, that's like a very bitter pepper. So, I've had uh, ghost peppers in, in things before and I've always got a sense that there was like this almost like MSG type quality to it. I know you say that, I get like a little bit of um, salty, savory, but like not that strong, but like a little, it's like almost like a little bit salty. That makes me wonder, maybe it's present, but it needs salt to bring it out or something. Uh huh. Uh, like if you cooked with it, yeah. maybe it, will, it would be better. I would yeah, give this a, a four. Yeah, I'd, I'd put it about a four. Yeah, but it's a different um, kind of heat. It's not really attacking my mouth, it's just like going for my throat. This is good. This yeah. is like a comfortable, decent sort of uh, heat. I think it would be a good pepper to use, like, to cook with. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not going to kill you. At least not the one that we have. Like, we cut, if I were to cut this up and, like, saute it with, like, some onions and, and vegetables or something, I think, it would be a good heat. Yeah, and I think with, with a little salt uh, in something, it, it could bring out the flavors of it more. It'd be... Yeah. Because, yeah, it's, it's left the lingering flavor that I get from a ghost pepper on my tongue, too. I think... I really like the heat of the dust better. Well, I think that's about it. So, uh, again, thank you, Matt. Uh, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Michael. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching me suffer, guys. There is plenty more where that came from, so you may want to click the video that is below me right now to watch something else. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That does actually help my channel out a lot. Also in the description below, there's all sorts of other information about my channel and you can learn more about being involved. So otherwise, I will see you next time.